Hello and welcome back to the next episode. In this one we are going to be making a very simple shop. So let's get on with that. So the first thing we want to do is create a way to save some money and we're going to use the scoreboard for that. So scoreboard, uh, objectives, add, money. That's going to be the name and it's going to be a dummy and let's give it a nice looking name as well. We'll put that in there and we'll say money. So this little bit of the, that's the display name. That's what's gonna show on the sidebar when we use the sidebar. Enter, great, now we have some money. Um, let's set up some ways to give the player money, reset the money, etc. Let's So let's say give 50. Let's have a look in there and let's do scoreboard players and we want to add because we're gonna we don't want to reset their money or anything we want to add to what they've already got add nearest player money and let's give them 50 done let's put a button on top of that and let's give myself 50 money who knows what it is 50 dollars 50 pounds 50 rupees whatever currency you want now I can't see my money so let's put it away that we can actually view it as well show money show me the money let's put that there and uh, then we want to do scoreboard objectives and we're going to use the set display and so we could put it below their name put it on I'm going to put it on the sidebar if you do list that will go on the tab, the tab list. Let's do both, let's do list first. List, money, enter, show. Okay, now it should be showing, there we go. Now when I press tab, there's that 50 next to my name. That's showing me my money. Um, let's put it on the sidebar, sidebar, done. Now my money is on the side, but that's gonna be there all the time. Maybe you don't want that. So let's get another command block and let's put this one as hide money. And all we're gonna do here is, actually we're just gonna copy the command from the other one. So let's go shift home copy, control C, control V. And I'm just gonna take away the, the word money. So what we're doing is we're setting the sidebar effectively to nothing done okay so now we can view the money we can hide the money view the money we can give ourselves 50 each time perfect we've got some money maybe we want to reset the money reset money okay let's pop a little button on top scoreboard players uh, now we could use reset here uh, that won't set it to zero that will just completely remove the score they've got so later on you might want to be testing for zero so instead of reset I'm going to use set set the nearest player money and set them to zero done now I've got zero okay so we've got a bit of control of our money here let's do one more let's do a remove Let's put it let's put it down here give 50 let's put it down here next to this one so let's do remove 25 and we'll look in here and we'll do a shift home control copy and we'll put that in there so instead of add we'll have remove and instead of 50 we'll have 25 pop a button on the top Okay, now if I press that, I'm going to have a minus amount. So there's nothing to stop us going down into the minuses here. We've got no checks. So we've got money. We can give, we can remove, we can show it, we can hide it, and we can reset it to zero. So let's, let's check on whether that give 50. Yes. Hide it. Yes. Show it. Yeah. Reset to zero. Yeah. Okay, now let's make a, a little bit of a shop. So this is going to be my shop. It's going to be here. 
let's put a button on the top there we go and I am going to execute if entity and it's going to be the nearest player and we're going to put some information in there well we want to check uh, their score so scores equals open and close the curly brackets now what score are we checking we are checking their money uh, the money equals now let's sell something for 10 so they have to have at least 10 or higher now if I just put that they have to have exactly 10 if I put that they have to have 10 or lower I want 10 or higher done now we should be able to just put a comparator on the end of that and that should give us an output so let's check it I press that I'm expecting this not to light up because I haven't got any money okay so we've got no light let's give ourselves 50 and now I'm expecting it to light up because I've got at least 10 yes okay perfect let's put a next command uh, this will be always active and it's going to be a chain so this one we're going to take away some of the money scoreboard players remove at P money 10 now this isn't quite right and I'll show you why in a minute the command is fine but we do have a little bit of a problem here so I've got 50 let's press it okay great it's checked if we've got 50 and it's removed to 10 uh, it's checked if we've got 10 and it's removed to 10 and yeah sorry 20 yeah 10 yeah 0 yeah ah now it's removed to 10 anyway even though we had zero money so that we don't want to happen and that's a nice easy fix this is only working or this is always working we want to make this conditional now this is only going to run if this one is successful so now when we press it we see we're not going down let's give ourselves 50 press it yes we've got at least 10 minus 10 we've got at least 10 minus 10 yeah we should be able to do it one more time and we shouldn't be able to do it now great nothing is happening okay let's get another command block on the end uh, this is going to be the one that gives us our item so give the nearest player what should we have let's have an enchanted ooh, an enchanted golden apple yeah that sounds nice and how many I said let's say one 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 apple cost ten done now we notice we haven't made this one conditional so it's not taking any money but it's still giving us the apple now that's no good let's get rid of that let's make this one conditional as well so this one conditional this one is only gonna run if this one runs and this one will only run if this one runs and this one only says okay if I've got at least 10 money so nothing should happen when I press the button now no I'm not getting anything okay so then I go off exploring on the map uh, I get some money great I've got some money from killing things maybe or exploring and finding different areas I come back to the shop um, I can buy one I can buy two three four five and I shouldn't there we go I can't buy any more so obviously you can change this to whatever you like uh, money is 10 well let's say money is one um, remove one and we'll give them one arrow so and there we go can I buy any now no because I've got no money let's give myself some money can I buy any now yeah now I'm getting one arrow and you can see my money going down by one each time there we go I'm not gonna sit here and buy 45 arrows just to prove that it's a 
it's going to stop. Let's just say if the money equals 45, then remove 45 and give them one arrow. Okay, so now that's a very expensive arrow. Bang, I've got one more and I can't buy anymore. There we go. So we've uh, set up a scoreboard. We are giving and removing money. So you could dot these around the map. Maybe when they die, they lose a little bit of money. Maybe when they kill mobs, they get a little bit of money. We can show the money on the side. We can hide the money. Uh, remember, we can show it instead of on the sidebar. We can show it in the list view. So let's do that one. That way they can press tab to see it. None. Let's give myself 50. 50. And it's not always on the side in their face. They can check whenever they like, but it's not. it's not in their face. And we can reset. Zero. And then we come back to the shop and we can buy our extra supplies and our upgrades. Okay, that's how we make a, a nice simple little shop using a scoreboard system. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.